A great way of improving our balancing skills is ditching our ski poles. Hi, I'm Tom from TDK Ski Racing and today we are going to do just that. Ditch our ski poles. But first, let's roll the intro. So, why would ditching our ski poles improve on our balancing skills? Simple. It's because we are easily accustomed to bad habits such as supporting ourselves throughout our turns by dragging our inside ski poles in the snow behind us or reacting to every bump and snow pile at our feet and skis by windmilling wildly with our arms for regaining lost balance. And besides, even World Cup racers ditch their ski poles sometimes. And if they do it, there is no reason we shouldn't. Once we bring our ski poles back, we can actually use them to help our balance instead of doing the complete opposite. Also, if you are struggling with your pole plants, learning how to ski without ski poles first will make it easier to relearn the correct pole plant movements. Next, let's look at Chris performing four popular ski racing drills without his ski poles, aimed at helping him with outside ski pressure, angulation, upper body counter, reading A-frame, parallel shins, and four aft balance. Drill number one, my all-time favorite drill for all levels, the airplane drill. Hold your arms straight out to each side, mimicking an airplane banking to turn. At the start of the turn, lean towards the inside to tip your skis on edge. Note that when you are wedging and want to start the turn, you lean the other way, towards the outside of the turn. It's because your objective is to pressure your outside ski. However, when you are carving, your objective is to create edge angles at the start of the turn. That's why you start the turn by leaning towards the inside of the turn, to build edge angles. Approaching the fall line, level out your shoulder line and balance over your outside ski. Thanks to the level shoulder line, Chris hips are also nicely angulated into the turn. At the end of the turn, tip your shoulder line to the outside, down in the fall line. Drill number two, the Superman drill. Maybe the most common ski racing drill of all times. Place your outside hand on your inside hip and point your inside arm straight out in front of you. Reaching forward with your inside arm will help you with upper body counter. Pushing at your hip with your outside arm will help you with angulation.
Drill number three is my famous how to read A framing drill. Probably familiar to most of you by now. Place your inside hand on your inside knee and push it towards the outside to activate the right muscles. Pushing your inside knee to the outside of the turn will activate your inside leg muscles, resulting in parallel shins and an efficiently edged and cleanly carving inside ski. Drill number four is a drill where you cross your arms across your chest to calm down your upper body. It's a great drill for finding your four aft balance without the help of your arms. As with all these drills, there are many variations. For instance, instead of crossing your arms across your chest, grab them behind your back. Before we leave, just like at practice, end your session with multiple runs using your ski poles. As a bonus, let's finish this video with a run on a stubby training track. That's all for now. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Also, please leave a comment in the commentary section below. I will try to answer all your questions the best I can. Thank you for watching and see you out on the slopes.